Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Little Modular. What we have today with us here is uh, the first module by American company Schlappy Engineering called Interstellar Radio. You can see this shiny futuristic design and indeed it is a radio, sort of, like a faulty radio transmission line as the manual describes it. It is a crazy aggressive noise glitches and drones generator. It can act as a sort of complex chaos generator but also as an effect so we can process external sounds with it through this signal in jack. Let's take a look at the panel. It is divided in few sections. The most important two being located up here. The first one is called carrier right here and the second one is called the modulator. So the way this module works is that it takes the signal with the uh, carrier section and it converts it to a uh, high frequency pulse train and you decide on the clock rate of this uh, conversion with the frequency knob right there and you can control its behavior with the CV pod right here. One important note, you can control the CV signal while there is something applied to uh, this input CV but also it works with conjunction with the uh, signal N which audio modulates both of the uh, sections. The lower section works similarly to the upper one. So we also have the CV and the frequency for the second section. This section takes the signal back from the high frequency and converts it to the audio range. So you can also control it with the CV in right here and also if there is nothing connected to the uh, CV in, it will take the signal in uh, as a modulation source. So those three knobs sort of work together if there's nothing plugged in here. Uh, below we also have a threshold. This is a threshold for error output because we have two outputs, the main output right here and error output. This is a comparator output which is built into this module and this is the difference between input and output and you decide upon different timbers with this threshold uh, knob what you need to know is that in the middle position it tends to be the noisiest and in the extremes it's uh, most similar to the uh, input signal. Down here we have a low pass filter uh, which helps us to tame some of the harshness and brightness of the uh, upper frequencies. So if it's too much for you you can just turn this down and it will mellow down the sound. You can also use some external audio source in place of the internal clocks. So if you plug an oscillator here or here it will substitute for the internal clocks and here you have individual outs for each of the sections. The last thing is the type switch and this sets the type of PLL tracking loop that is used to recover uh, the sound from the uh, carrier section down to the, uh, mm, to the audio rate. What it means simply is that you get three different flavors of the noise, of the harshness. Now let's go into some sound examples and see how it actually works. We're gonna start with the simplest patch possible. So we're gonna use only the uh, internal clocks. You patch the out right here to your mixer. Let's turn it up. And uh, let's maybe start with the lowest position. Let's turn up those frequencies. As you can hear, they interact nicely. And there is ton of sounds.
So we can already hear that even without anything patched into this, you can get literally myriad of sounds. Okay? As I mentioned before, if there's nothing patched into the CV, those three knobs interact. So we can get even more sounds. So it's all very playable. What we can do is, we can apply some simple modulation, like a plug an LFO in here, and for instance, plug some sequence into the first. More sounds, more timbers. If it's too harsh, we can turn this low-pass filter to the left to tame it. Okay, we can check how the error sounds, the error output right here. Without any modulation. Very interesting. Okay. We can also patch external clocks in here. Like for instance, here I patch the uh, shapeshifter. And then I could patch uh, Rubicon in the second section. And Rubicon is played with the sequence from Eloquencer. And let's take the main output. So these are the external clocks. So as you can see, the frequency doesn't work anymore. Another set of timbers. Now let's patch some uh, external sounds. What I like to do with this is to put some uh, drum loops through it. So uh, I have something here connected from uh, Ableton and I just plug it directly in here. It's a simple electro house loop. Simple drum loop. So for me this is the coolest application because you can change any loop beyond recognition. So it's a perfect recycle box. If you are bored with your samples or loops, just put them through this. Oh yeah, can you hear this? This is just insane. You know what I mean, right? What about, instead of processing drums, we make it a drum? Let's use it as a percussion source. I use this often as a source for my snares, hi-hats for instance, and all kind of metallic percussion, wicked, bizarre uh, drums. So what I will do is, I will put this through a VCA, and then I will trigger this VCA with the aid of mats. As you can hear, it's really punchy. 
and really cut through a mix. So if you're looking for some metallic drums, percussive sounds, so liquid the action, I definitely recommend this. Okay. And now some melodic territory because we can animate this whole thing with a CV sequence. For instance, I have the same CV sequence from Eloquencer. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just plug it into the uh, CV of the uh, carrier. Or the modulator. <laughs> okay, it's, it is just insane. Now I'll do one of the patches from the manual. What you do is you take output of an oscillator, the uh, triangle wave works nicely, you put it into the uh, signal input, but now you mold the uh, sequence and you put it through the carrier input. So as you can hear... An excellent sounds of melodic chaos. And of course if you switch the frequency on your VCO, it's gonna make a huge difference. And the CV depth will make a huge difference. You can switch the mode. We can expand on this patch and plug in a slow LFO into the, uh, the modulator CV in with slow modulation. Like a broken radio switching down. Of course you can plug in anything in here, a second sequence from other sequencer for instance or anything else now another thing I have not mentioned is you can plug in output of one section to the input of the other section and see what happens now or go the other way. I don't think there's anything else to say. As you can see, it's a source of really unique sounds. If you are bored with your day-to-day -day oscillators, I strongly recommend to check this module. I can't really think of anything else that sounds even remotely close to interstellar radio. It is a unique monster and it definitely stays in my rack for that exact reason. Thank you very much for watching, take care and I'll see you next time, bye bye.